Australian researchers have discovered a cheap, widely available drug that works as an antidote for copper venom. So what is it? And how did scientists uncover this surprising solution to an animal's bite that currently kills thousands of people worldwide? Basically, cobra bites, um, obviously a subset of snake bites, they damage the tissue. And this causes morbidity in people, so people will have serious injuries. And that can affect upwards of 400,000 people annually. What we did was we took this back to sort of um, first principles to look at how the venom actually attacks our cells. CRISPR is a gene editing technology, so you can use it to basically study a gene of interest and disable its function. If we disable a gene and then compare it to a normal cell, we do this across the whole human genome. So every single gene that you have that codes for a different trait. Add venom to it and then really quickly see which um, genes that venom interacts with. The long sugar molecules on our cell surface are called heparin sulfates. They're found across um, our cells and animal cells. So we believe that these snakes have evolved to basically be able to attack for prey or for defense against large primates or us. Once we found that out, we were able to also find a drug that could counteract that interaction. Heparin, that's a common blood thinner, it has a similar structure to our cell surface. So we can flood basically a bite site with this heparin and it basically acts as a decoy for the snake venom. So then the venom attaches to that and that's what we think will prevent the um, tissue damage. Current treatments for snake bite, most people will be familiar with is anti-venoms, but they have a lot of drawbacks. One of them being that they're really expensive and also they need to be delivered in a hospital setting. In regions um, such as Sub-Saharan Africa and South Asia where these cobras live, this infrastructure is sometimes just hard to get to or not there. So what we wanted to do was also find a treatment for the tissue damage, and that's another thing that antivenoms currently don't treat. Heparin is already a cheap and available drug, so it counteracts the expensiveness of antivenoms and also the fact that antivenoms require cold storage and refrigeration. So you can see potentially in the future that this heparin can be available to people already um, when they get bitten. So they can take immediate action and hopefully reduce that damage. To have a new treatment that is available to them is of great importance. And especially if it can be more cost effective um, and also be able to be delivered, not just within a hospital setting. So if people can have this ready within their own local communities, then it would reduce that burden of the snake bite. The CRISPR technology that we use, we're looking at lots of different venoms. I'm looking at blue bottle jellyfish, so that would be great for um, everyone who goes to the beach. Um, and yeah, just looking at, um, going back to see how our like black snakes, uh, how their venoms function.